Hey CrossFit Sugar, it's your coach Mary Chris, creator of Move with Mary Chris, and I have a 30 minute advanced total body strength workout for you. That's right, you're about to get rocked, but it's gonna be so much fun. I'll have a pair of eights with me, but grab the weight that feels good to you, and let's get straight to class. All right, class is in session. We're gonna go ahead and get straight into our warm up. Go ahead and stand hip width apart and rotate side to side for the standing twist. Go ahead and inhale and exhale, just like that to warm up the body, check in, try to get a little deeper with each rotation. We're here for three, two, and one. Switching over to arm circles, take two forward and two back. Feel loosey-goosey with it. See where your body's at. This is an advanced total body workout, so we need everything warm and ready for action. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and take a wider base and shift with me side to side just like this. And if you want a little extra stretch, as we move over, we're gonna go ahead and reach to the side. Pushing those hips back. Good, we're staying here a little bit longer. Last 10 seconds and we're going to the end of our mat for a walkout in five, four, three, two, and one. Take it to the end of your mat, hip width apart, walk your hands out. Go ahead and bring your feet to the side of your hands. Sit back if you can in that prayer squat. Step back, come back up to the top, and add a jumping jack. Go ahead and repeat. All right, quick warm up, but we are in the action already. And just like that, we're gonna go ahead and get into our first circuit in about 10 seconds. Finish here. Sit in it, there we go. Take it back up to the top. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and take a second. We are gonna start out with our core movements here. So this is an advanced workout. So the one thing I want you to keep in mind is that we are gonna add time on to every round that we do. Okay, so I need you to push. But our first movement to get started is our oblique crunch with the front kick. You're gonna have your legs straight, Tuck that bottom leg, lift up, draw in, add that front kick. Just like that, in three, two, and one. Here we go, take it in, and this is gonna be 30 seconds of work. And don't worry, we've got a rest in between. Good, what we do on one side, we're gonna do to the other. Right, so the first round, you're with me, learning the moves. Just like this. Good, three, two, one, and relax. Go ahead and switch over to the other side. Line yourself up, right? Arms directly under shoulders, just like this. Tuck that bottom leg, lift up. We go in three, two, one, and here we go. Feel free to add that little tap in between. So the fun thing about our core movements today here is that we're gonna do it for one round. In our other circuits, we're gonna add on. But do not forget the moves because we are coming back to it, but just with more time added, right? Why not hang out in it longer? Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, next up we've got an X plank. You're gonna come into a high plank position, feet hip width apart. You're gonna reach back opposite hand to foot, just like that, and keep on moving. If you wanna modify, go ahead and stay in a low plank and give me shoulder taps, okay? But here we go, in three, two, and one, you're up. <sighs> Exhale as you come back, <sighs> right? Activating the core. This is also a great way to keep warming up the body if you still need a little bit more time. <sighs> Action is coming up in nine seconds. We're gonna rest and I will tell you what's going on in three, two, one, and go ahead and come out of that. Okay, it is time to get ready for our circuit. Okay, I'm gonna give you a couple moves in our circuit. Our first round, 30 seconds on, 15 rest. Round two, 35 seconds, round three, 40. You're gonna know what's going on, okay? So stick with me, grab your pair of dumbbells. We're gonna start off with reciprocating curls. Go ahead and watch me first. As a reciprocating, there's constant movement with your curls. 
just like that. In three, two, and one, and whew. exhale. I think you should breathe, that's good. Keep them moving, just like this. This is very strength focused this round. Okay, do not let what seems like simple movements fool you. Okay, I'm known for my deceptive workouts. <laughs> All right, keep it up for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Nice breath. I feel like I'm already going. All right, 10 seconds till we go. Next one, we're gonna come into a squat. When you come up, go ahead and cling those weights to your side and drop down and repeat just like that. In three, two, and let's go. Down and rock them. So we're alternating. Just your feet if needed. Push those knees out, sit back. Good, if maybe those bicep curls already got you or something to think about in the next round, go ahead and keep the weights down the entire time just like that to give yourself a break. We go three, two, one, and relax. Next up, we have T-shoulders. Makes me feel like a cheerleader. Never got to do it, so this is my moment. We'll do this together. You're gonna exhale, or inhale, exhale out, and drop. Just like that. Three, two, and let's go. Let's go! Okay, that just happened. See? It's organic, come on. Good. So the breathing is huge on this right here. Sometimes this rotation is a lot to take. If it is, maybe split it up just like that. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo! Next up, around the world lunges. We're gonna rack those weights back to our shoulders. You're gonna step forward just like that. You're gonna step to the side, back, switch it to the other side. Keep that circle going just like that, up to the top. Three, two, and go. Can you see just like that? I had to explain it to you so I didn't get a break, so I'm waiting for the next one. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> Wanna make sure you're set up for success. Keep that circle going. Good. Keep it up. Last couple seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and break. 30 seconds right here. So like I said, round two. Same moves, but five seconds added. Okay, so you know what it feels like that first round. Add that extra focus and intensity here. Catch your breath and we push through. Same rest period. Woo, we got about 10 seconds. Reciprocating curls. Woo, we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Take it up and alternate, just like that. If you wanna be mindful of any wrist pain, you can go in and switch to hammer curls just like this. Keep that neutral grip, good. Just about 20 seconds. Usually I work my way down on time, but I know you are hungry for some advanced workouts. So you're over here pushing me, I'm pushing you. Let's go. Last seven seconds, keep it going. If you wanna dance, just squeeze your core, okay? Let's go, three, two, and one. Take a second, we go back to our squat to clean. Wide base here, shoulders back, chest up, heart up, nice and proud. We go down in three. Two, one, sit it down and rack them. So, can you focus on dropping your hips all the way down as low as you can, right? The more you warm up, right? Maybe you can have a little bit more depth. Good, straight down. 15 seconds. Woo! There it is. Rack them extra. Swole after this round, I am telling you. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and relax just like that. T shoulders, it's time to cheer. Okay, we do it for each other, team. We're taking it up forward and to the side in three, two, and one. Inhale. 
Exhale, make that nice line. Good. Brace your core. Right, what you wanna think about, tucking in right there, you don't wanna send that back, especially as those weights potentially get heavier for you. Maybe you switch to body weight. Maybe you use another pair of dumbbells. Totally fine. You just want those last two to three reps to feel challenging. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. I can confirm, last two to three are challenging. If you can't tell by the tone of my voice, grab some water if you want. Okay, we're gonna rack the weights on our shoulders. We're going around the world. Free airfare here with me. We'll be your pilot. Here we go, three, two, one. Take it forward. This is actually the trip to nowhere because I just bring you back to where you started. But you are stronger, okay? There are free benefits of joining this workout. Good. Step side to side. Whatever movement you're doing, step out and align that knee over ankle. Last 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a break. Oh, okay. 30 seconds. This is the last time we are doing this circuit. We'll get our break and then we're going back to those ab movements, okay? I'm prepping you. We're going 40 seconds this time, okay? We've got about 12 seconds. Shake it out. Reciprocating curls in three, two, one, and here we go. 40 seconds, right? This is the top of the ladder, right? Maybe you got this little extra burst of energy because you know it's almost over. We're crossing them off the list. Good exhale, come on. Keep it up right here. Brace your core, right? We want to pull from the center. Even though we're focused on the bicep curls, your core is important in every move you do. Let's go, finishing here. All right, just about 10 seconds. Pump it out. Let's go, elbows by sides. We finish in five, four, three, two, one. And relax, shake out those arms. We've got the squat to clean. Go ahead and set your feet up, chest up. 40 seconds, we rock it out. Shake it out, set it aside. In five, four, three, two, and down. And up. I am trying to ignore my quads right now, you know? They're trying to talk to me. I'm not about this conversation right now. I'm just trying to get through this, right? Focus on that form. Let's go. I am here with you. Let's stay with each other. Biceps are on fire. Come on. Last 15. We got it. Arms are feeling so swollen right now. I'm like, if they weren't touching my shoulders, I don't know where my dumbbells might be. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Come on out of that. T shoulders, right? If your heart rate's up from that last movement, really tune into yourself right here. We go in five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale. All right, have to calm it down here. All right, arms in line with your shoulders. All right, these eights are no joke. And that's the thing about doing these movements, adding on time. You can intensify with the weight you already did by playing with that intensity, that time. Good. Keep challenging yourself. Last 15 seconds. Final 10, we're in it. Rest coming up. Whoo. Pull from the center, let's go. Three, two, and one. Take a second right here. We're going around the world. Okay, let's do it. One more trip, one more round trip. Let's go. Let's try to make stops. Everyone likes a non-stop flight, right? In three, two, and one. Good. Take it back. Drop that knee down. This is the way you train yourself by following through with that form all the way when you're starting to fatigue. About 20 seconds, you get your break and then we're going back to those core movements that I talked about. 
but because it's a ladder, we're adding on time. Okay, good deal. Last 10, push it out. Let's go, five, four, three, two, one, and take a break. Drop those weights, come on down to the floor. Probably lay on your side. Take a second, we've landed our flight. We are now on vacation here. Okay, we're gonna tuck that bottom leg. Feet your toes behind the ears. Tuck it right here. Inhale and exhale. So right after we finish this round of 40 seconds, then we're going on to our next circuit. Okay, where we add up. Let's go. In three, two, and one. Remember, oblique, take it to the front. Good. This is round two. Nice steady movement, stay aligned. Keep your chest up and open. Always proud. Good. Take a little dance on your side. I am sweating here. Come on. Hope you have a towel nearby. Sometimes we can slide off our mat in this position, but this mat's holding me up. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Take it over to the other side. Align yourself nice and straight. Tuck that bottom leg. We lift up and we go in five, four, three, two, and we're up. Take it in for that crunch. Good. We've got one more movement in the circuit here. If this is not advance, I don't know what is. It feels like it to me. You gotta focus. Good. Come on. Breaths on both ends. Last 15. Your kicks might look nicer than mine. My legs are tight. <laughs> but you make the effort. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. And take that quick break. X plank, high plank position, reaching opposite hand to foot. Okay, we go. Right here, take it back in five, four, three, two, take it back, we're up, and we go. Take those hips as high as you can, and don't forget to drop your hips to that plank. Good, don't stop halfway, okay. Nice and flat, neutral spine. This is almost done. This core circuit, then we're back on the weights. Good. Final 10, let's go. Push it out, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Ooh, shreddy. Just leaving little drops of goodness on here. So for our next circuit, like I said, 30 seconds to start. We go 35 round two and 40 the last one. Your first movement, the only one you get to know. Element of surprise here. Okay, you're gonna have a chest press and a glute bridge. Arms by side, 45 degrees. Press up in line with your chest, hips up and back down. Let's do it in three, two, and one, and up. The way you wanna set yourself up for that glute bridge, if you didn't, is flush that low back to the mat, squeeze your glutes, Press up through those heels. All right, this is the introduction round. We still have that same rest period. Last 10 seconds. Good. Last five, four, three, two, one, and relax. 15 seconds off for coming to under grip rows. Okay, so traditional rows, palms facing you right here, but we're gonna go ahead and flip that grip just like this and row back, okay? We go in three, two, one, palms up, take it back. Elbows brushing those ribs. And this also helps recruit those biceps just a little bit more, like we didn't do enough in the first round, right? <laughs> Woo! Just, just doing what I can to best support you, okay? Have your best intentions, or my best intentions in mind. Let's go, five, four, three, 
two, one, and relax. Oh, tears of sweat happening. It's just so good, you're doing so good. 10 seconds, we go overhead tricep extension. Go ahead and drop one. You're gonna go ahead and grab it just like this. Take it overhead, elbows as close as you can, and extend up. Let's do three, two, and one. Right, same thing in mind, tucking that pelvis here. As cute as it is, we're not doing any Instagram poses, okay? Tuck it in, up we go. Inhale, exhale. Focus right here, last 10. Oh, let's do it, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Weights come down, 15 off. We've got dumbbell swings. Weights are gonna go ahead and be by side. You're gonna hinge back just like this and thrust your hips forward and those weights will follow. Okay, three, two, and one. Hips back, thrust up. Come a little wider hip width, right? It's not our arms doing the work, we're not doing this. Your arms will move as a result of you thrusting up. Nice grip on the dumbbells. Your core is the stopper at the top and it sends it right back. Come on, 10 seconds. Keep those shoulders down. Push right here. Three, two, one, and relax. Just like that, let's go. Round two. I feel like I have some weird bursts of energy happening, but you run with it, okay? You run with it. Let's go, 18 seconds. We go back to that chest press. Pushing through those heels, okay? Maybe you want a little more hamstring, you step those legs out a little bit, those heels, and you press up that way. Options for you, we go. In five, four, three, two, and one. Flush that back to the mat. Press up, exhale. Good. Good movement, right? Squeezing your core and glutes. This is 35 seconds, just a little bit longer. More time for you to work on feeling stronger and better than you did the last round. Training yourself for those progressions. We finish in five, four, three, two, one, and relax. 15 off, okay, we're coming to our under grip rows. Hinge position, kind of similar setting you up for those dumbbell swings. Standing upright, soft bend in the knees and hinge, push back just like that, like right there. Lock it in, three, two, and under grip. Strong grip right here. Squeeze that quarter between your shoulder blades or a hundred dollar bill, whatever gets you going, you know? Whatever motivates you to keep that in line. 15 seconds. I don't know if you can see my right leg right now, it's doing like a stanky leg. It's it's shaking, so I need my core to help me stay in place. Let's go, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, coming out of that position. Drop one dumbbell, overhead triceps. Okay, just in case this doesn't serve you and it's too much to go overhead, you can go to tricep extensions right here, or maybe even do one dumbbell at a time. Whew, let's go, overhead, three, two, one, Extend up. There we go. This is kind of like the act of rest, I feel like, in this round, the reset before the swings. Right, you've already come this far. Keep pushing yourself. You're gonna feel so good after this. Last 10, triceps are burning. Straight up, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Especially when that weight is heavy, gently bring it down with the support of your core. Coming into those swings. I swear I'm not crying, there's just sweat in my eyes. But I'm gonna shake it out with these swings. Three, two, one, hinge, and exhale, top. Right, those dumbbells don't have to come up super high. Right, your core stopping them will naturally get you to find the top of that movement. Hinge, soft bend. Make sure you're not squatting, right? It's a hinge. Imagine you're tapping a door. 
with your glutes. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Last break, last round. Okay, come on down. Chest press with the glute bridge. I'm gonna go ahead and take this extra time just to resettle here. 40 seconds for this round, okay? Tune in right here. Give yourself a little pep talk that you are gonna do this 100%. You know this is it. Leave it on the mat, okay? Chest press, glute bridge. Three, two, one, and we're up. Good. Sometimes that's the hardest part of the workout, right? Getting yourself to stay motivated. You don't want to tail off towards the end. You want to ramp up. You got it. Final push is right here. Last 15. You should know every part of your muscle group in your upper body, because I'm sure you can feel it. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Go ahead and come to standing under grip rows. One more time, palms up. Again, if your biceps are just screaming at you, go ahead and turn those palms in and rotate in. Otherwise, you're here with me, under grip. Three, two, one, hinge and Keep your eye line at the top of your mat, right? You don't want to be cranked out looking here. Sometimes we already carry a lot of stress upper body. You don't want to add on to that. Be mindful of your form. The extra work you do here to stay in line is going to help you in the long run. Good. Last 12 seconds. Finish. Come on. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and come on out. Ah, drop one, overhead tricep extension. Raise the roof, we're almost done. But with a weight in hand, let's go pump it up. In three, two, one, and extend out. Good. It's okay if you're tasting sweat right now, right? Tastes good. I like salty stuff. It's fine. <laughs> Come on. We are past the halfway right here. Ah, tune in. Right, brace your core. Bring those elbows in. Push with me. Last 10. Oh man. Come on. We got this. I'm here with you. Come on. Five, four, three, two. One, and relax. Did you see that struggle with my face? I needed you, okay. Let's finish this right here. Dumbbell swings. We hinge and take it up, All right? This is like the loosey-goosey one, like let those arms free, but in control at the same time. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Good news. Cool down is next. Go. Come on. Let those weights take you down. Don't hang out right here. All right, give me a good rocking chair. You know you like those growing up. Come on. Be your own personal one. Let's take it. Last 10. Push it out. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. And done. Gently place your weights down. Don't drop them. You don't want to actually drop them on your toes. <laughs> right, you're strong enough. You push through that. Take a second. You just freaking rocked that, okay? Shake those arms out. Maybe just side to side, hang out right here. It's kind of like a weird floss. You don't have to do that. No more coordination. Shake it out. Let's take that right arm across. Go ahead and hold. Grab right here, hold it in. Go ahead and switch for me, right there. Inhale and exhale, we calm it down. We went through that chaos together. But it was a little fun, was it not? I think it was. It was, it was. You're here at the end, so I know you liked it, okay? <laughs> Good. If you can, one more time, raise those arms up. 
Grab that opposite elbow, hold right here. Feel free to sway. But I'm just so proud of you for showing up. It's not always easy to do things, right? Maybe some of those moves aren't your favorite, but you know, every time you do something that maybe you don't like, but you get better at it, it's still so empowering. So please give that to yourself. Remember that, lock that in your memory, okay? Go ahead and drop those arms. Let's go ahead and come on down, dive. Hang there, sway side to side. Come back to center, we roll up in three, two, one, arms up, pull and stretch, and release. And there you have it, I am so proud of you. Thank you for showing up for you. I can't wait till we do this again in the next Class Fit Sugar. I'll see you later. Hey class, so someone in our audience asked, what's the proper way to use a dumbbell to prevent injury? So there are a couple things that I think you need to keep in mind. One of them being keeping a neutral grip. You wanna keep from having puppy paws or T-Rex, whatever you're into, okay? So nice, strong grip. And you also need to think about the weight of the dumbbell. Maybe it's something a little bit too heavy for where you're at right now, so regress with the weight. Another bonus tip to think about is when you're doing bicep curls, for example, maybe it's too much to go ahead and do traditional curls because of the grip, but you can go ahead and stick to a neutral grip like a hammer curl and work those out and add on to your workout. So if you have any other questions, go ahead and drop them below and we'll get to them in the next video.